welcome back on info for triple and you are watching a series on power electronics using matlab symlink and this is 16th lecture of this series in which we will discuss about single phase half wave control rectifier with resistive load using matlab symlink and you are with paramjit singh jawa first of all we will discuss the circuit diagram of single phase half wave controlled rectifier with resistive load this is a circuit diagram which consists of a thyristor which is having a on state voltage drop of 0.8 volt and its input is connected with the ac source having 220 volt rms voltage and 50 hertz frequency while its output is connected with a 2 ohm resistor this thyristor is connected with the control signal applied at its gate terminal and the parameters of control signal are its switch frequency is 50 hertz its pulse width is 5% and its phase delay is t by 10 seconds so now moving towards the practical session on matlab in this video we will continue the simulation we have created in second video of this series so first of all open that simulation file and save this file with different name in this model we already have a thyristor and a resistor we only need a input ac source so just go to library browser and go to simscape power system and special technology and here go to fundamental blocks and go to electrical sources so here it is our ac voltage source just drag this block into your simulation file before that just disconnect this controlled voltage source from the circuit and connect this AC voltage source here to update its parameter just open its parameter window so first one it is asking about peak voltage so we have a 220 RMS voltage and it is multiplied with square root 2 to obtain the peak voltage I am not changing phase uh, frequency is 50 hertz so update it to 50 sample time we are using in our simulation 50 microsecond so i am updating it to 50 microsecond and last one is measurements we also want to measure its voltage so selecting it to voltage and now click on ok button to close it to check the parameter of thyristor just open its parameter window it's already have a pointed forward voltage so now click on ok button third i am uh, opening the parameter window of register it is having two ohm resistance so it is also ok it at measurement section it is missing branch voltage only but in our simulation we need branch voltage as well as branch current so i am selecting branch voltage and branch current now click on ok button now our circuit diagram is complete i can put an I am creating an annotation to identify the circuit diagram now second I have to set the control parameter for the thyristor so just click on first generator block so it is having amplitude 1 no need to change it second it is asking what period in our uh, case we are using 50 hertz switching frequency so that means time period will be 1 upon 50 pulse width is by default 5 cents and next is phase delay so in our case we are selecting a phase delay of t by 10 so t is 1 by 50 and it is so it is divided by 150 by 10 so now click on ok button to remove this physical connection with the wireless 
we can use go to and from block so just go to library browser and go to symlink under signal routing and here is our go to block just drag it into the simulation so just remove these physical connections and drag this positive block to here and connect its output to the input of this go to block and rename this a with g1 because it is supplying the g1 signal to transistor t1 now we need a matching from block so just again go to library browser and here is the from block so just drag this block into the submission file and connect its output to the input of transistor and now click on its block to update its parameter so go to tag is a so up change click just two changes just it even is here just select it and click on ok button so now our control signal is ready <coughs> we can remove this tagging from here and we can drag this power j block here now this is our control section so we can create an annotation as control logic now to observe the waveforms of this circuit just making connection of scope so first we need a voltage of input ac source so just click on multimeter so here available measurement as series rc branch voltage ac voltage source voltage and series rc branch current so first we need a ac voltage and just make it up second we need a branch voltage it's okay and third we need a branch current so now we have selected th all three signals now update the setting of dmos block from 2 to 3 as this multimeter having three signals so now just disconnect these connections at first we have an input ac voltage so just connect its output to the first input of scope at second terminal we want to measure the gate signal so just make a copy of this g1 signal uh, that's g1 from block and paste it here At third terminal, we want to measure output voltage and output current. So just remove this connection and cut this block from here and paste it here. And now first is voltage of load register and second is load current across through load register and connect it output to the third input of scope block. At last we want to measure thyristor voltage just click on this bus selector block by default it is having thyristor voltage and thyristor current we don't want to measure thyristor current so just remove it and now click on ok button now to connect it without any physical connection just i am using a tagging again so just copy this go to block and paste it here and just rename it with v underscore t1 as it is observing the voltage across thyristor t1 just shift it and now make a copy of from block and paste it here and connect at the four terminal of scope block and now click on this block to update its tag by default it is g1 but we and it's not showing vt1 so we can click on update tags now again click on this now it is showing vt1 just select it and close it and now this is our measurement section so we can create an annotation for this measurement section 
So now our simulation is ready with circuit diagram, control logic and measurement section. Now we will change the stop simulation time to 0.1 second so that we can measure only 5 cycles for the waveform. Now just open this score block and run this simulation. Now it's not showing proper waveform so just click on scale x and y axis limits. Now it is showing the input voltage which is sensor AC voltage and second one is our switching signal and third one is our output voltage and current. We can clearly see that before the switching signal there is no output voltage and output current and during that time all the voltage appear across the thyristor but when the switching signal is applied output voltage is equal to the input voltage and current is according to the load register and during that time there is no voltage across the thyristor while during negative cycle, cycle uh, thyristor is off so output voltage and current is zero while all the voltage appear across the thyristor so this is all about our today's lecture I am thankful to Mr. Raja R for his appreciating words if this video is useful to you then like and share it if you have any query and sessions then please let us know through your comments if you want to get the notification about our upcoming videos then subscribe our channel and click on bell icon thank you for being with us